Hello everyone. Welcome to Northwest Arkansas and welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbit Tree. I am PJ and I raise commercial meat breed rabbits. I raise New Zealand's in black, blue, and broken. And I raise silver fox in black and blue. And I'm also starting a broken program with them. I raise rabbits uh, for fertilizer for my garden, for meat for my dinner table, and for competition on the judges table. All right, we're right here with Everlong, and um, she has had her babies. Uh, she actually had them yesterday. Um, I checked yesterday morning, there was no babies, and I checked after work. And uh, when I came out then, she was pulling fur, and so I knew it wouldn't be much longer. Uh, I had to run to town, and when I got back from town, she had had her babies but by then it was too, too late and too dark for me to video and then this morning um, I didn't have time to come with the camera so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look uh, I believe the best I could tell in the dark last night it looked like there was seven uh, five black and two broken so let's check on them today they are 24 hours old now now my biggest concern with this litter as you all know, uh, Everlong is nearing four years old, and so uh, um, conceiving and producing such a large litter, seven for lady her age, is uh, pretty good. Now my concern is, is she going to produce enough milk for these boogers? And there's the two broken, and uh, I am really concerned about that. Uh, right now they feel like they uh, ate today. There's four. There's five. There's six. And there's seven. And uh, they all survived 24 hours. Um, I really wanted to foster a couple of these to another doe, um, but I just didn't have any one. Cass has four, and I went to take um, Cass's litters a few days older. And they thought, well, I can put two with them, but <laughs> uh, because Cass only has four, and they're, I think, five days old now, man, those beasts are, are huge. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to put these newborns with Cass. And then um, I thought about putting them with the queen. Problem is, the queen has um, some brokens and some blacks, and she has six. So if I fostered them over to her, I would have no way of knowing um, which ones were the queens and which ones were everlongs. So that's it for the baby watch for now. Uh, I'm actually leaving tomorrow uh, for vacation, and so you won't hear from me for a few days. And uh, as soon as I get back, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, I'm leaving Wednesday the 6th, and I'll come back on Sunday the 10th. Um, we have three nest boxes going in. Now, we were supposed to have four, uh, but I'm uh, pretty sure that blue cheese did not take. Uh, and since then, I have already rebred her, so we'll look for some babies from her in March. Uh, however... Frankie, let's see, who's due? Frankie, Holly, oh, and Dodie. So we got three broken does that will be due. Uh, they will get their nest box Sunday when they come home. And they're due um, shortly after. I think they're due like Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So... Uh, Good job, Everlong. You had a nice litter. Uh, uh, if you will, please join me in prayer that she'll produce enough milk to raise these guys. Okay, let's check on the Queen's babies. Um, she has six. And I forget now how many black and how many broken. Um, it seems like there was two broken and f uh, maybe four broken and two black. I can't remember. Alright, let's see. Whoop. <laughs> 
put a little bit of... There we go. There's some babies. Let's see. There's one black. There's a broken. Oops. Sorry, you can't see. All right. There's a black. And then there's a broken. And there's the other broken. So that's three. And then we got more back here. We've got a uh, fourth broken, or third broken, fourth broken. We should have another black. Yep, there we go. And there's a black. Okay, so she's got four broken and two black. And then the queen has five black and two broken. So um, hopefully, um, I, I do hope. Uh, uh, Everlong will raise hers. I, I, I get so worried because uh, she's in great shape, Everlong. Um, I just worry that um, we're not going to get any more babies out of her because she is getting so old. All right, so here's Cass. Let's take a look at her her little babies. Boy, I'm telling you, these things are beast. Uh, there are, uh, there's only four of them, and look how huge these boogers are. All of them are just big, 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 big. There's that one. I think this one's even bigger. I mean, geez, this girl can grow some beasts. Look at these. I mean, these guys are just huge. There's no way I could foster those little boogers. They'd never fight, be able to fight for food with those guys. So there's um, Cassis. Here's babies. Blue Eye. And uh, I didn't check on her babies yesterday. It was just too dark. Uh, but the day before, we still had ten. All right, let's check them out. Wow, they're grown. They're <laughs> it amazes me at how much they grow in two days. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five, six, that one's a little guy. There's seven. And blue eyes losing patience with me. There's seven. There's eight. There's nine. We should have one more in here. Well, I'm missing one. All right, I'm gonna have to take the box out and look because mom's having uh, mom's getting anxious. Yeah. Um, I did count them. Uh, I pulled them out and I counted them, and there are ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So all ten of them are still there and uh, seem to be doing good. There's one or two uh, that might be a little thin. This one right here is kind of thin. Um, you know, when we have eleven kits, I really don't expect them all to survive because you know, I've said before, and I'll say again, uh, Blue Eye only has eight dinner tables at the ta eight dinner plates at the table. Uh, so when you have eleven, you know you you got <laughs> you got some babies either sharing a dinner plate or you got babies that don't get a dinner plate. But so far, she's doing pretty good. She's got ten left, and it's not that it can't be done. It can. Washita has done it twice. Uh, but it is hard. Talking about Washita, let's go ahead and take a peek in at Washita. Uh, just as a real quick recap for blues, we have Blue Eye that has currently 10, and then Cass has 4. So we have uh, right now 14 blues, and then uh, we have these guys. These guys are, I think they're about 5 weeks old now. And this is Washita's, and uh, she has 8. Yeah, she has eight, five black, and three broken. 
So we've got quite a few blacks going on right now. And these guys, uh, I've been, it's not been, <laughs> I'm trying to make an effort, uh, even though it's super, super cold. Um, I've been out here trying to touch these guys um, and just uh, let them know that I'm not going to hurt them. <laughs> Mom says it's feeding time. Yeah, it's feeding time, isn't it, Mama? Yeah, she wants to eat. <laughs> And she wants her fair share of lovin's. Babies can't have all the attention, can they, Mama? Huh? No, they can't have all of the lovin's, can they, Mama? A Washita. Man, I, it, she's just come such a long way. It just really amazes me. You know, Everlong is her mom. And Everlong's been my favorite for so long. And uh, now, you know, her daughter's stepping in. And now Washita's turning into my favorite, so... We're going to have to get a really super uh, mega nice doll out of Washita now and <laughs> make sure this tradition follow keeps coming. <laughs> All right. Well, these guys want their dinner, so I better close the camera and feed these guys. <laughs> Isn't that right, babies? Huh? Isn't that right? Yeah, look at Mom. Such a sweetheart. Who would have ever thought as much work as this girl was when she was a junior? Whoever would have thought she'd turn out the way she did? This girl will be here until the day she dies. Hopefully she'll be like her mama and produces babies for us. Up until she's four years old and keep going, huh? Yeah. We'll take real good care of you, won't we? Yeah, that's my girl. Look, look at her. Got a litter of eight on her right now. And look at that fur. She's still in great condition. Just fly back fur. And you know Everlong's the same way. Uh, this line, you know, they just, they're in good condition and they just hold that condition so well. These babies, I hope, will do the same thing. They've just been excellent. All right, Washita wants her dinner. If you have liked this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see my next video release, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Down below, I'm going to leave a couple of links. One is going to be to our Rabbit Tree fan page where you can come and see uh, more of the day-to-day -day, uh, things that's going on here at the Rabbit Tree. And I'm also going to leave a link to my web page. Be sure to check out both of those uh, links at your convenience. Thanks for watching and until we speak again, God bless.